Bafana Bafana coach Ephraim Sheikh Mashaba has omitted five players who did duty against the Sudan and Nigeria earlier in the month. He's replaced them with six others for the two matches against the Congo next month. Mashaba has opted for continuity by keeping the core of the team that played in his first two matches in charge. However, the team sees the return of Kaiser Chiefs duo Rinello Lutsulunyani and Tifo Mashamaite. Olana Paris striker Kemit Erasmus is also back in the fold, while Ajax Amsterdam's Tulani Serrero has also been included. Defender Kwanda Mgonyama from Marisbeck United and striker Fagri Lake from the National First Division side Santos are the two completely new faces in the squad. Lake was instrumental in the National Under-20 team, qualifying for the 2015 African Youth Championships. Fagri Lake, Under 17, under 20, under 23, I've been working with him. He's a very good young player, but he, he still has a, a problem. During the game, you know, he, he sort of like loses focus. But as we agreed when we started, we are putting up a team for the future. Let's bring them in. Let's see what can they offer. But Kwanda, I don't know if there's anybody who doesn't know this player. That's uh, one of the players who deserved way back to have been given a chance in the national team. Bafana will play Congo in Port Noir first before the return leg in Polokwane. This will probably be the most crucial encounter for Bafana Fana in the AFCON qualification campaign. With Nigeria expected to collect maximum points against Sudan, Bafana will need to do the same against Congo to maintain their chance of qualifying. I don't know how many of us have sat and looked at how crucial is this game. Win these two matches, our chances are bright to qualify for 2015. Bafana will head to Port Noir expecting hostile conditions, especially considering that Congo replaced Rwanda in the qualifiers. Congo lead Group A with six points, followed by Bafana on four points. Lebohang Tube, SABC News, Johannesburg.